I told you in the event that something happened. I told you in the event that something happened. So they know that you're trying to get married. They know that. I told him this Monday. That's the fear, though. You don't have anything to wear. So it's day three of the vlog. Um, the nerves are definitely setting in. I don't really have anything I have to do. I assumed that I had the flowers that I wanted, but I don't. So um, my mom's coming over. We're going to run some errands. It's basically going to be her day. I just can't sit in the house because then you think about it, then you get nervous, and then, you know, you know, so whatever. Yesterday, I actually forgot to eat. That's one thing. Like, I'm so busy that I'm forgetting to eat, and then I was wondering why I had a headache, but whatever. I was saying, hypothetically, if there was a Jurassic Park, would you go? When I was younger, I was like, heck no, we won't go. But we survived coronavirus, so. You what did I say? I'm not going to damn Jurassic Park. That's what I said. You're crazy. I think you'd change your mind <laughs> if you were surrounded by exotic dinosaurs. I'm just saying. You say no now, but it's like, it's that's I'm, a chance of a lifetime. I'm under the impression that I'm not even going to say it. You said the <laughs> conspiracy the theory. <laughs> She's gonna hate me for this, but uh, this is my old house. My old haunted house. Is my finger in the way? Yeah. And obviously, she got dressed up today. She got on a yellow shirt because she, um, she wanted to be cute. She's realizing that <laughs> she's gonna be on camera a lot this whole week. So, yeah, this is my old haunted house where demons and shadow people roam. What are your baby names? Kai and Lila. Kai and Lila. Not Lilo and Stitch, not Lila and Stitch, not Kyla and Stitch. Lila and Kai. Those are my future baby names. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would be cute nicknames though. That's not cool. So we were talking about the coronavirus and how it's... It's how, depressing. It's depressing, she said. I, I but then it's not. I mean, it's depressing. Because one minute you're normal, the next minute you're back on a mask like me in the, the sci-fi movie. Yeah. You don't know whether to put the mask on or take the mask off. You don't want to walk too close to people because you see on Facebook people don't like you walking too close. They will uppercut you in a heartbeat. So it's it's anxiety once you get out the house for sure. It's it's. I think that's... I, I don't get depressed. I get anxiety because yes, I, I, I want to make so sure sad. that I'm respecting people's boundaries. But I forget because we're so we're such social people. There's like walking between people saying, "Oh, and ex like excuse me," but it's like they don't want you near them to begin with. Like wait until they get out. Of the I remember we were at Target um, last week going we getting ice cream, and you were holding up the ice cream aisle. And while we were when we were walking by, there was this guy standing in the aisle, like trying to stay away from us with the mask on. And as soon as we passed, he like walked past us. And in my head, I'm like, he's a racist. But then I was thinking, no, coronavirus. It's not, it's not a black and white thing. He was it trying happened to, overnight. Because yeah. So we're trying to record a, um, a music video, but also shopping at Goodwill, and I happen to literally find the spacesuit that I need to continue. To continue. I don't know. <laughs> trying to learn why my sister is a shopaholic. My mother has bought a television, a flat screen TV. She's purchasing these. She just bought a lamp. She tried to buy a dibbit box, but I told her there's a demon attached. So. To be continued. Just. <laughs> I 
Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So we just left Goodwill, and I was telling my mom, I don't know if it's like a strange coincidence, but I don't believe in coincidences. I think everything's a sign. But okay, so Andrew's a truck driver. He hasn't been able to really um, shop around and stuff because he's been getting home late. So I'm um, everybody's shopping around for him. We get to Goodwill. I find the exact blue suit that I want him to wear. And this really cool vintage um, vest. And I, sh I sent him pictures and he was like, yeah, I want that. But none of it was his size. The exact suit, exact vest. It was like a perfect match, but it wasn't his size. So I'm like, maybe it's a sign that everything's going to be okay. And we're going to find it in his size. Like, it's happening. I don't know. I just want to put that out there. That's my spiritual intake on that. <laughs> okay. Every time I record, on the last one when I was talking about um, the boy, she was looking at the camera like this. The whole time, I was like, what What did I do? I love creating content that's not just music. So this is like, this is a nice little outlet. It's not only about the wedding, it's just me kind of rediscovering my passion for recording. So it's interesting to see where this channel is going to go. It's not just going to be music. And I know I keep saying that, but for real, I don't want to just talk about music. My niece, keep, every time I see her, she's like, are you going to talk about your haunted house again? And I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to talk about the haunted house. I want to do my hair and do silly videos. So, this isn't the last of Silly Tear y'all are gonna get. Um, what? What? What haunted house are you talking about? We didn't I live in a haunted did. house. You gonna tell YouTube, you gonna tell Facebook all your business. Somebody keeps following me. She's wearing a yellow shirt. If I die. Does your stomach hurt? Uh, I'm fat. Coronavirus. It's okay, don't worry about it. Relatable. This is me. This is. I wanted to reiterate because we were talking about how her daughters need to watch their mouth towards their partners. I called Andrew a bum the other day and he was heartbroken. I feel like it was regarding throwing the trash out or something. I told him he was a bum. He was he was sad, so. But it's her fault. It's my fault. Yes. <laughs> I know that Angel's off work. We're at Target so he can see if we can find a, an outfit uh, for the wedding. So, wish us luck. That's yes, well, yeah. <laughs> You didn't get your hair cut? <laughs> okay. Hold on, slide over. I'm going to get hit by a car in the vlog. So far, we've come to Target and we don't see the color we're looking for. Um, we might have to go to a different store. He's not a vlogger, so I think I'm annoying him with this, but to be continued. That's still not the blue, though. That's not the blue. I it's, I mean, the suit that I showed you at Goodwill. If possible. But I mean, with six days, I really don't mind that, honestly. I don't know. It's just very traditional. Those are, you know, your booty cheeks. Your booty cheeks ain't fitting in that. It says 38, Ain't no damn way. For children. You gotta be. I don't like black. I feel like it's very traditional. I think of penguins. I think the blue would be very nice, especially with your the boots that you want. And ugly. <coughs> what you say? Keep talking smack and I'm gonna take that hat off. That was that was staged, you guys. Oh, I thought you said you wanted ice cream. You tell me we gotta go. Babe. 
Babe? Yeah. When did we get so fat? <laughs> I don't like it. Quarantine, I messed up everything. Planning a wedding in six days means that your summer body that you got right now is the summer body that you're gonna have in six days. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the coronavirus quarantine. Eat all your food right now. But he just bought ice cream, so. <laughs> not sponsored, not sponsored. So we made a pit stop at the pro um, because we're frustrated that we can't find this outfit. But we're gonna go to another Target and see if they have it, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know, maybe this will be the end of the, uh, the, the vlog today. Uh, in the event that it is, talk to you guys tomorrow. They had different.